thanks for staying with us. And, and one thing I love we have on the show is when we actually have students here to talk about their experiences in Humble ISD. And Humble ISD has hosted the Math Olympiad for many years in our district. Uh, math Olympiads are held basically in Texas, they're held in our nation, they're held across the globe. And here today with us, we have two of our middle school Math Olympiads. Um, we have Trevor Daniel, and Trevor is an eighth grader at Riverwood Middle School. Welcome, Trevor. And we've got Grayson Graham, who is a freshman at Kingwood High School. Welcome, Grayson. Glad to have you guys here. Now, I don't know much about Math Olympiad, guys, and I'm sure a lot of our viewers out there don't know a lot about it either. So, um, Trevor, can you tell me what Math Olympiad is? Well, it's a program, and you, like, once a week, you'll meet with other kids that are doing Math Olympiad at your school, and some days you'll take practice tests or you'll work with the other kids, and they take the top five scores to the district competition, and they have another alternate, and then they compete against other schools there. Okay, so you have a team then. Yes. Gotcha. And all problem solving, right, Grayson? Yeah, it's not like just a math problem. Like, um, instead of that, it's more like out of the box. Like, you got to think about it. You got to come up with a solution types of problems. And, and do you do that in the competition? Is that individually or is that in team or? They have two. It, there's one that's individual and one where the team competes. Okay, so both. And I understand you guys were big winners also at last year's Math Olympiad. So, so Trevor, did I understand you got the highest individual score? Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Congratulations. Thank you. That is cool. That's very cool. And then, Grayson, you were second in the individual score. Is that correct? Yes. That's right. But your team was the winning team, correct? Creekwood was the championship Math Olympiad team? That is correct. Wow, that's good. So we have got the upper echelon <laughs> of Math Olympiad. And Humble Iowa State, that is very cool. Yeah, and I'm also thinking future tutors for my kids. Possibly <laughs> Forget too, your right kids, here. me. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you guys prepare for Math Olympiad? Once a week, you said you get yes, together. Yes, once a week, and we do practice tests. And is this with a, a teacher sponsor on your campus? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And after you make the team, the, you take tests as a team to see how you do, and there's practice for the competition. I like that. Pretty good. Grayson, how about Creekwood? Same kind of um, Same kind of thing. Like, there's not always, like, kind of a test to do. Sometimes it's just, like, different concepts they're trying to teach, mostly, mostly to, like, the sixth graders coming in, the people that are new to it. And then once the team is set, you get more into the actual, like, competition type stuff, like working together mm -hmm. and working out the problems. Just... And I wanted to ask about that, but I'm curious, Trevor, from you too, as, um, as well as Grayson. So, I mean, I, I get, I actually remember when I went to school. It was a long time ago, but I, I kind of remember parts of it. And so I, I understand the individual competition, you know, yes. trying to solve the problems as, as an individual. The team, working together as a team to solve math problems, that, that I'm not that familiar with in terms of my own experience. Did, do, do you have a preference, or how is it like trying to solve a math problem with <laughs> other people? Well, how our team, we solve it, like each person does a different question, so we have enough time to review uh -huh. and check answers okay. with other people. Okay, so you individually do your problems and then collaborate yes. at the end. Okay, very Chris, good. Kristen, how about you, Ed? Yeah, it's, it's kind of the same. We like split up into groups like where a certain group did like the first four questions and that would be like two people and then the other group did like um, five and six and seven or just things like that like and it went down like in descending order there like the top ones were the easiest and the bottom ones were the hardest so we would have to have certain members of the teams like the best ones, the best members of the team would have to concentrate on the harder problems. Okay. okay. And they just, we just had it grouped up so that we could all do that, and then we'd all check together, and that's just how it went. Well, that's kind of cool. There's a lot of strategy involved. Yes. yes. Very, very cool. Okay, so Math Olympiad, obviously you guys are good at math. Um, 
if you had incoming sixth graders right now and they were interested in Math Olympiad, what would you tell them? Why would you tell them to join? Uh, you get to interact with other people and you get to learn how to work with the group better. That's good. How about you, Grayson? I would just tell them that like it's not like the kind of math problems you do in class where it's straightforward and they just say like do this or do that. You gotta actually think about it and work out the problem for yourself and work out the solution. And, and you both, before we went on, on, on the air, I learned both of you have been involved in Math, math Olympiad for more than a few years. Uh, so you've, you've both had lots, lots of experience. So real quick, I'm, I'm curious, what's the, from your own experience, what's the best thing about Math <laughs> Olympiad and what's the not so best thing about <laughs> Math Olympiad? Well, the best thing, I guess, working with other people. Okay. And, but I don't really have a worse thing I do. Well, that's, that's right. good. It's all good. Th that is. Go. There's there no negative go. to Math Olympiad. How about you, Grayson? The best thing is just kind of the problem solving, like actually being like, challenged to think through stuff. And the worst part is probably like when you're working in a group and one person doesn't want to work with everybody else. Mm, that's right. a challenge. That happens. That is a challenge. But, you know, that's a great lesson for you guys to learn at this age. And because, you know, the rest of life you'll be working with groups and some people pull their weight and maybe some people don't. So I think it's a great opportunity for you guys at this age to understand and, and, and really kind of navigate through those problems and how you get the team to work together. And it sounds like you guys were on very successful teams. Obviously, the Creekwood team was the was the winning team, which is which is great, but you couldn't have done that without teamwork and navigating through some of those issues. So, but we really appreciate you guys joining us today mm -hmm. on the show. I didn't know much about Math Olympiad, so it's been great for me to learn about how you guys um, you put your teams together, what's all involved. So, and, and congratulations to the both of you for both uh, having much success with it. Top two math students in the district. I know, right pretty, here. Right, right here. here. I, I, I sense they'll be on future shows again. No doubt. No <laughs> doubt. Thank you, guys. Yeah, and thank for you. our audience, thank you for staying with us. And Guy and I will be right back.